FA Cup is officially 150 years old and I'm incredibly excited to say that I've been given the opportunity to visit a different club each round of this year's competition to showcase how much the cup means to the clubs and their fan bases too. Just before we get into this journey, make sure you're subscribed to the Emirates FA Cup YouTube channel. That way you won't miss out on any content for this year's competition and you'll also be able to see my entire journey too. The slight catch for the first qualifying round is, I have no idea where I'm going. The FA have sent me some packages which have some hints which will then reveal where I'm going, but as it stands right now, I have no clue where we're off to. So let's open these packages and hope it's not too far. This first hint, I had no idea who had sent me it. I just got it through the post the other day. Please see the tweet on screen. Thinking, who had sent me a Matador outfit and why? And then the Emirates FA Cup replied with an eye emoji. And I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. But people are wanting me to wear it, aren't they? <sighs> Can we just collectively pretend that this, this never happened? <laughs> the next bit is an email that says, Ellis, the Matador outfit should come in quite useful on your trip to the club nicknamed The Bulls. Yes, for the first qualifying round, you're off to watch Jersey Bulls. Remember what I said initially? <laughs> Hope it's not too far. Right, so we're off to Jersey Bulls against VCD Athletic. It turns out Jersey Bulls are the southernmost club in this year's competition due to the fact that I actually have to get a plane to go and see them. So we better get off on our journey and let's head to Jersey. Come on. So, I'm starting my journey in the first qualifying round, but there's also been two rounds before this. There's been the extra preliminary round and the preliminary round itself. We've discovered I can't say that word properly. In their extra preliminary round match, Jersey Bulls won 10-1 and they won the other one 4-0. So we are guaranteed to see goals tomorrow. I'm so, we're almost at Gatwick, come on. I've now arrived in Jersey. It's my first time ever coming here and it is a beautiful place. I can't wait to go and explore and I can't wait to see everyone at the game tomorrow. I think for now, I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening just chilling and I'll see you first thing tomorrow. Let's do this. Yes, so it is the next day and I've arrived at the Springfield Stadium, the home of Jersey Bulls FC. Did you know Jersey Bulls were only founded in 2018 and this season is now their debut year in the Emirates FA Cup. Last season, they were the only team to finish the season with an average points per game of three points. Anyway, let's get inside and have a look around. Another really interesting factor at play today is the Emirates FA Cup Golden Ball in association with Mitre Sports, in which obviously the top scorer of the Emirates FA Cup receives it. And Sol Solomon for Jersey Bulls, after two games, has already scored five goals. If they can put a few more wins together and he can pick up a few more goals, he could genuinely be in contention to win the whole thing. Keep an eye out for Sol Solomon today. So obviously I'm at Jersey Bulls, but it doesn't feel like it. I don't feel like I've got the right shirt on. Let's change that. That's better. Now I'm rocking the Jersey Bulls shirt. I feel like an honorary bull. Let's go and interview a few people and see what the Emirates FA Cup means to them. What would a run in the FA Cup mean to yourself and the club as well? Uh, a run, uh, look, the whole place just gets super excited. The draw got made um, 12 days ago and you know, every official at the club, the players, the manager, the phones haven't stopped. They've been getting calls and text messages, WhatsApp, social media's gone crazy. Uh, it means so much. Um, this week I was walking through town and a supporter, he stopped me and said, Ian, I've never seen a live FA Cup game. I missed the first game, he was away. 
but he's coming to Springfield today to watch an FA Cup. So it's just really got the whole community talking about it. Um, it's probably arguably one of the biggest games in Jersey football um, history. So it's it's, it's going to be a special occasion today. Uh, hopefully the crowd, it's going to be a four-figure crowd for the first time in our history today as well. So yep. a club record attendance. Hopefully the crowd can get behind them. And, you know, if we could get past VCD, then obviously second round qualifying is amazing. Step two clubs come down, come into it. And if we are in the hat, uh, we just love a home tie and then that would give us a bit more of a chance. So, we've spoken a lot about the home side today, Jersey Bulls, but what about their opponents? Today they're taking on VCD Athletic, who play in step four of the English Pyramid, one step higher than Jersey Bulls. Also, the furthest they've ever gotten in an Emirates FA Cup is the second qualifying round, meaning a win today would see them match their best ever finish in an Emirates FA Cup. There's a lot of stake today, Let's get into the game. So if you look at this for a bit of Emirates FA Cup history, it is a winner's medal from the 1987 final for Coventry City. Their chairman has brought this here today. That is a genuine winner's medal. Will anyone notice if I just sneak away now as I just run? Don't drop the table, don't drop the table, don't drop the table, don't drop the table. So today is Jersey's record attendance. There's gonna be over 1,100 people here. And as you can see on screen, it is beginning to fill up. I can't wait. Nothing beats the FA Cup. I'm not, I'm not just saying that. Like, for non-league teams, and lower league clubs especially, days like today are amazing. So I'm joined by, what's your name? Aidy Vickers. You are a, a big fan of Jersey Bulls, obviously. I am indeed. What would a run in the FA Cup for Jersey mean to you? Oh, it would certainly, um, it would certainly put Jersey football on the map. Yeah, 100%, 100%. So, um, we've got some really good, talented players on this island, so, um, and it's the first time we've entered the FA Cup, so, you know, let, let's showcase it. Yeah, what do you think the score's gonna be? 3-1 Jersey. Hopefully, right? <laughs> Come on. In more bad news, I've been given a cowbell, but the bell's fallen out of it, so <laughs> it's, a, it's a disaster. City Athletic won. I know I said before the game started, watch out for Saul Solomon because he could become, he's now scored seven, so at this current standing is the top scorer of the Emirates FA Cup this season.
he's, he's looked great, but Jersey Bulls look great. It's been great for the fans as well. It's so good seeing how much it means to them with the Wembley chance and everything. Still a long 45 minutes to go. If it's a draw, then it goes to a replay Tuesday. I think Jersey, for the sake of flights and everything, will be hoping that isn't the case. Well, I'll see you guys in the second half. Hopefully it's more of the same. See you then. So, um, something happens in the second half of your games. What, what is it? There we go then, full time, Jersey Balls 5, VCD Athletic 1. It was a game where at 1 1, it really could have went each way, but you know, honestly, as soon as Jersey went 2 1 up, 3 1 up, it did look like they had the, the ability to go and carry out the win. And the fans were great, it was really good seeing the atmosphere, seeing how much it means to them. They're such a unique club. To have a thousand, over a thousand fans here today was, was really interesting, and that it clearly means a lot to them. You guys heard the, the Wembley chants. Maybe, maybe if things go their way. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to the Emirates FA Cup YouTube channel so you don't miss any content throughout this year's tournament. Make sure you're subscribed and also make sure you're subscribed for the next fixture that I'll be covering throughout my journey in this year's Emirates FA Cup. The second qualifying round takes place on September the 18th. So hopefully you'll see me all then for the next episode. I'm looking forward. Suggest where I should go in the comment section. If your team's through to the second qualifying round, tell me why I should come see your team. Make sure you're subscribed, like the video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.